Hi everybody! Thanks for coming back to my channel and checking out part three of our toilet paper dress cover topper. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. But in this video, we are going to do a little bit of decorating on her. So I've gotten the ends of, um, you know, the skirt of the dress. I got that all weaved in, but I'm going to go ahead and weave in this top. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to run it through a couple stitches. Get that out of the way. And I, I also want to say, um, when you make the top of your dress that sets on her um, fancy bits, <laughs> uh, and it's too tight, like incredibly too tight, like you cannot get it on and off of her, <laughs> hit, that with, hit this part with a little bit of steam and that will help loosen this up. So, you know, I made a couple of these dresses. Uh, let me grab them real quick. Okay, I'm back and I got my girls set up here. Now, I wanted to show you. So, like, you notice how hers is just a little bit bigger at the bottom than hers? This, uh, that's the difference between um, Karen Simply Soft and the Yarn Bee um, Secret, Soft Secret, sorry. Um, it, and, like, this up here is the same pattern as what we just made and on hers I made it with the Karen Simply Soft you know hers I didn't have a problem getting on and off but these with the Secret Soft doesn't have much give like the Karen uh, Simply Soft does but um but here's a couple examples of how I decorated her like she's just got a simple bow a uh, little ribbon wrapped around her and on this one I didn't work the last round in a different color I just did single crochets around and I didn't like that much so I decided to start doing this um, so yeah she's just got a ribbon she's got ribbon and then I hot glued a little cluster of pink flowers on her now this one I put ribbon around her and then I hot glued um, all around her these little uh, ribbon flowers on and then I did a single crochet at the top which we're gonna do in a minute I didn't do that on her and then on her hat, like this, her hat, I have a couple of strands of the yarn I used right here, you know, and I just tied it in a bow and then hot glued one of those, the same color little ribbon flowers on her. Now on hers, I put a ribbon and then hot glued a little bow on there. And the same with her, I just put ribbon and then hot glued a little um, ribbon rose on there. But the, there's so many different ways you can decorate these. Like her bottom, I ended up hot gluing a cup, um, like every single crochet at the bottom. So like right here, here, and here. I just hot glued um, those little flowers on there. But I think we're going to do something a little different with the one we just made. I'm not 100% sure what that's going to be yet. Do you guys just scooch back to this a little? And also, you know, when you're making these, all Barbies are made different now, which, you know, that's cool. But it's a little tougher to get the perfect pattern for, for this part. So, um, if it, if it's just, you cannot get the top on and off your, your Barbie, I would say go up a hook size or keep the same hook size and just hit it with some steam from your steamer, your iron or, you know, what have you. But anyway, let's get started on the, the top here. So what we're going to do, the fun, my camera wants to focus on the Barbies and not my hands. Is that better? What I'm going to do is on the back, so see our, where our seam comes up, I'm just going to attach right in there somewhere. Slip stitch, slip knot. Pull through, chain one. I'm gonna go right back in there with a single. And I'm just gonna work one single crochet all the way around. I tried this with a slip stitch Actually, I'm sorry, we're doing the wrong thing. Dang it, it is a slip stitch, not a single. Uh. <laughs> Chain one, and then just slip stitch 
right back in there. Now when you slip stitch, holy cow, make sure you are not doing this too tight. My camera's... Make sure you are not doing this too tight because you will never get the top up the Barbie. So what I do is I kind of, I keep that loop on my hook, put it down to the end because this part's a little bit bigger than this part. Then I slide it back, hold it so it doesn't get any bigger or smaller, and then just work the slip stitch. So go ahead and slip stitch all around and be careful. Don't go too tight. And uh, I'll meet you up back at the beginning. Alrighty, I made it around and I just slip stitched to that first slip stitch, chain one, pull up a loop, cut, and we're going to weave in that end. Now you see, you notice how she doesn't have much give at the top like she does at the bottom. So if it's, you know, not a big deal if you went a little too tight, no worries. Just hit it with some of that steam. Get all that to loosen up a little bit. So right now I'm just weaving in my ends. Nothing fancy. And actually, you probably could get away with not weaving in these ends. Just put your put the dress on her and let the I just ruined my yarn. Let the uh ends just go inside the dress. Nobody will notice. I'm actually, you can't see it, but off camera I'm actually breaking my own rules. I never, ever, ever weave a different color yarn through. I always weave the same color into this, into this. Like I would weave the white into there, but I didn't. I just weaved it into the green. <laughs> I never ever do that. Okay, so now we're gonna put the dress on her. Which, like I said, you're gonna have to do a little bit of wiggling and giving and twisting, and it'll get on there. I'm gonna go ahead and take her banded bikini off. <laughs> I, whenever I started making this tutorial, I thought, man, I don't want to get in you trouble with YouTube because you can see the fancy bits on my Barbie, and I was like, well, I'll just put a band-aid on her. That'll cover it. <laughs> Which, you know, I know I probably wouldn't have gotten in trouble, but it's like I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> okay, we got her dress on her. Get her in her toilet paper stand. Now, I wanted to show you guys this. Let me adjust my camera a little. This part right here, you see that little... What that is, is when I was crocheting, a knot came through the yarn and I couldn't hide it. You know, like when you, you, whenever you guys crochet or are working on something and the yarn's coming out of the skein and there's a knot where like it must have broke and they tied it back together. 90% of the time you can hide that inside your work, right? Well, not this one. So I've try, I'm trying to like put it on the side so you can't see it. Okay, so also I want to show you guys something else I've, I've been doing. So like on her, on her boobs, <laughs> where the dress is a little tight, I just kind of pinch that a little bit so it's not big open holes, you know what I mean? So you can see through there. Okay. Ooh, she's looking great. And I've noticed with a couple of my Barbies that I've done this dress on, if you spread her legs a little bit and then push her down inside of the toilet paper roll, she'll stand straight better or a little straighter. Get her hat on. Okay. Now, um, you may have some ribbon that matches your secondary color. I actually, I don't have any. I only have white. So I am going to take a piece of yarn and I'm just going to tie it around there. 
and I think I might have some I think I might have some um, off-white bows I don't have any off-white ribbon flowers or ribbon roses there turn her head so yeah I'm gonna have to oops so I'm gonna have to um, use my off-white ribbons or my off-white uh, bows not ribbons So I'm just going to play around with, you know, how I'm going to do it. Because I kind I want to keep the other ones that I've made different from, from uh, the ones that, the one I'm doing now, you know. So they're all different looking. But here's my bows. We got a little pearl in it. So I might, I don't know, I almost think that might be too many bows. So right now I'm just kind of, you know, setting some around to see what I think. I think I might just, I might hot glue one here and then get her a little hat on. Tie a piece of yarn around her hat like we did her waist. My doorbell just rang. <laughs> Tie that on there. I guess I could have done more than just one strand. That's okay. So yeah, I'm hot glue a bow there and then hot glue a bow on her hat. I'll be right back. I forgot to plug in my hot glue gun. Okay, I got my hot glue gun plugged in and turned on, ready to go. And I went ahead and uh, um, added some more strands to the top. I just pulled out a bunch that are the same length. There. And now I'm just kind of pushing them all down. And I tied them real tight so it stays on her head. And then I also, I forgot to mention, I just tied her, pulled her hair back with a little piece of, of yarn I had sitting around. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to set it right to the side of her dress. Or her, I mean right on her hip. Get a better bow. Beautiful. Don't burn yourself, don't burn yourself. Hot glue that one there. Turn her. I'm going to hot glue one right there. And we are done. Yay! Unless you want to do a little bit more decorating here. Put her hands like this. Like she's like, ta-da! Dress is a little tight right there. But that is it, guys. That is how you make a toilet paper cover topper dress. <laughs> I'm proud of them. I love these girls. <laughs> and get them all in here. I hope you guys love them too. That this is like I don't know if you guys had seen earlier, but I had said that uh, I wanted to start a nostalgic collection. And one of the things that comes to my mind when I think of crochet is when my sister and I, you know, we lived with my grandma. So and my grandma was a crocheter, and she had uh, things sitting around the house that were crochet and. One of the main things I will never forget is she had a doll sitting on the back of her toilet and every time we picked it up to play with her, 
There was a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, that, is, that is a memory I will never forget. So when I think of, you know, crochet, I think of the butterfly magnet, the sunbonnet sue magnet, doilies, and these. <laughs> well, I hope you guys get as much enjoyment as I have making these. I love these dolls. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out part one and part two. And uh, hit that subscribe button for me, please. And hit that uh, thumbs up button. And uh, leave me a comment and tell me what you guys think. And in the description box, check out my... Uh, the links I have down there, the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Etsy, TikTok, all that stuff. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.